Hi, I'm Kevin Hill, and today we're going to do something that's a little bit different, and I think you'll have a lot of fun on it. I'm going to show you how to use the liner brush. I'm going to give you a few tips and techniques over the next few minutes to hopefully make the next painting just a little bit easier. Let's get started. Now, as you can see here, what I've done is I've quickly, just five or six minutes, dropped in a, a landscape, really just with the filbert brush. And this is an old canvas I've been using for, just for practicing playing around on. So I did a quick landscape, couple trees, some background trees, and grass, and the road's there just simply for fun. So I wanna show you a, a lot of different ways and techniques about using this liner brush. So first off, let's show you how to thin the paint. I'm gonna dip right into a little bit of thin oil. You can use a, a linseed oil is great, or you can use paint thinner. Okay, here's a little bit of brown and black, and I'm gonna roll my brush in the paint, draw it out to a really nice sharp point. This is important. If you do not draw it out on your palette, I'll show you what happens, it's not good. I'll show you that in a minute. Anyway, draw it out to a point. And well, the first thing I wanna show you here is limbs. Now obviously everybody probably is familiar, at least you've seen me paint limbs. Well, there's a few tips and tricks that will really help you when you go to paint your limbs, because when you're first learning, there's some things that can go wrong. First off, if you get this paint on here a little too runny, let me show you. So I've got a lot of oil in it, and I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna draw it out to a point. I'm just gonna lift it up out of the pile, right? Watch this. Oh, I better do it down here. I don't want to mess it up too much. Right here, maybe. Watch this. And it gives you a bit of a blob there. And as you paint, watch this. No, oh, that one's even worse there. See that? As you paint, this is gonna drip down. No good. <laughs> and that happened because you had a little too much paint in the brush. Okay. When this happens to you. Take a, take a filbert and do your best to kind of absorb some of that oil, get it off there. Because a little bit of that oil in the paint is okay, but a lot will make it run. So you kind of put a little more paint over it and then simply paint in your limb right over that. There you go, now that shouldn't drip. So if you're using paint thinner, that's even more of a problem. So be very careful. If you see a bead of paint forming at the tip of your brush, this looks good right now. If there's a bead of paint at the top, then you need to run it across your palette to get rid of that. I hope that makes sense and helps you out. Sometimes that does happen. There, okay, so now I'm drawing in these little limbs. Now, as you go, in, go to paint your limbs, push down real hard, less pressure, and make sharp and sudden movements with your hand. If you make any movements that are too wormy, it's just gonna look weird, okay? It's no wormy movements. There. By wormy, I mean like this. Watch this. Want to do one that's... Ugh. <laughs> There's a wormy. I don't like that one. So to, to fix it, if you accidentally do that, come back over it with several sharp ones and sort of disguises it. See that? It's there, but it's not quite as... Not quite as wormy. Okay. See, a lot of harsh movements in your branches. We can do some going off the other side. It's just, this is not really a landscape so much as it is just a quickie, quickie little demonstration. There, okay. Now that was quite fun. Let me show you how to put a little sapling back here. If you start to run out of oil, grab a little more onto your brush. We've got a little, you see me go down. I just whacked it on a paper towel to absorb some of the oil. There's a little too much in the brush. And this brush will feed forever. You almost don't, you can get a whole tree out of this brush without having to reload it if you've loaded it properly. Watch this, isn't this cool? This brush is really unique in that it's made of synthetic and look how long it is. We call it our little custom liner because we went through several prototypes to get this exact one. All right. Now using the same technique as before, I'm just gonna thin down a little bit of yellow and green and touch a white on the liner. Again, I'm gonna roll it and draw it to a point. It ensures it's loaded correctly. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna start by, we're gonna paint in these little grasses down here. So I've, I've loaded up our brush and we're gonna start by doing little circles with our hand and then touch down and continue that circular motion. This is one of the best ways to paint little grass blades. Overlapping strokes, now go the other direction. You, unless it's really windy, you want the, the grass crossing all sorts of different directions. Of course, if it's really windy, then it's all going in the same direction, but that's not what we're doing today. Good. 
Raise up a couple of these little grasses here. Leaving a lot of that dark. This is all just smooshed in with a filbert real quick. This is how you bring out the detail. Now, actually before we do that, let's continue painting this little grass blades. Continue with your little, your little stroke, your circular stroke, letting your hand touch down and lift off, touch down, lift off over and over and over again. Do it extremely quickly and you'll get a better effect. This brush is pretty snappy and rigid, so you shouldn't have any trouble with it becoming floppy. Although it is pretty long, it'll shake on you a little bit. Don't let that worry you. It's actually great if you have a little bit of a looseness to your blades of grass. You see that? There are little broken areas and those look like leaves. We can even add more. Watch this. See, touch in and get a couple more leaves. Nice. Oh yeah, it looks like little plants or something. Isn't that cool? All right, now I'm gonna put a link on the screen if you wanna go check out this liner brush. You can find it on the website, has to find some information about it. And, and uh, you can go ahead and pick it up and it really does help to have a, to have a nice liner brush in your, in your painting toolkit. It'll help you so much when you go to, to do the little details. Here's some grass back here, a little bit back in here. Let me know if you guys want me to see, if you want me to do some more of these, these sort of little tip videos on these different tools you have we have here. Let me know if this is something you're interested in. Maybe you guys need a little extra help on certain things. Tell me what you're struggling with, and definitely remember to leave a like. And if you guys really seem to enjoy this video, we'll come out with a few more. Hopefully, really offer you some help and, and guidance with some of these brushes. There. Okay. Now, tell you what, let's go ahead and paint in a couple dark ones. Those are fun. Same technique, go right into some black, maybe a little touch of blue. The color really is not important so much as it is. Just, just get it dark, okay? And we'll put a couple dark ones overlapping these light ones. Not as many, just a few. There, a little more thin oil. If, it, if you find yourself having to reload every five seconds, you don't have near enough oil. There. Oh yeah, there you go. So that's a much better consistency. Good. All right. Maybe a couple of sticks. We can we can draw sticks in pretty easily. Look, I didn't. I was painting grass. I didn't reload. I came right over here. And I can paint in a big old stick like this without having to reload. This brush goes forever, and it comes to a razor sharp point. Amazing. So. That really will help you so much. Now I'll load up our liner brush with some of this soft gray. Now, this is all wet oil paint, just painted it. Uh, so I'm gonna put my finger down on it. It won't hurt the painting. When you're doing this in a real, a real painting, just do it. Put your finger right in the sky. You can always blend it out. Be careful, don't hit a limb or anything. And maybe we have just a few little birds flying. So let's go a stroke down, stop and a stroke back up and around. And look, see how that makes a nice little bird? That one's a little large so that you can see it. When you paint them, you make them whatever size you want. If you were gonna make a bird that big, it should be a little more detailed. But look, you can do tiny guys. Oh yeah, it's like a little flock of birds flying in toward this meadow. All right, see that? Cool. Kind of blend in the fingerprint there. So it really just is, it's just one more thing you can do with this liner brush, you can do so much. All right, well I think we're done with our quick little tip video. I hope you really enjoyed it, and also be sure to check out my website and this liner brush. And thanks for watching.